you want to get the most money you can get from your home, obviously. There are certain things that are you know, safe to do that will get that return on investment. And there are other things that are you know, maybe not as safe or maybe it's very specific to you know, your home, other houses that are on the market. So some of the safe ones to do are, we like to start with your kitchen and your bathroom. Those two rooms are very important to yeah, buyers. Yeah, they're typically the ones that are going to have the, the biggest, highest return on your investment as well. So what I'll do a lot of times with my sellers is, if given the opportunity, at least online show them, what's our competition? How is your home comparing to the competition's home? And when we do that, we can either go two different strategies. We can price your home to make up for the difference between how your home compares to theirs. Or we can evaluate your home and get contractor bids to make your home compare to the new ones. So if everything else in your neighborhood has update, you know, say your house is built in the 70s and you've never done anything to it, chances are your house is outdated and other homes have been updated. So is it going to be worth it for you to just price your home lower to make up for those, those differences? Or do we need to get contractor bids and maybe put some money into the kitchen to bring it up to 2020? Exactly. And you know, if your option, I've seen people do this too. They want to update the kitchen or the bathroom. We'll go with kitchen. They want to update their kitchen. Everybody else has an updated kitchen in the area. You know, you're say you're at a 250 price point. So they go in and they just put new countertops in. So you have these dated countertops, the tile's not really nice, the sink's kind of old, but you did put in new countertops. You could have taken that money, saved it, and dropped your house price down a little right. bit to maybe say the 230s and had a bidding more over your house instead of putting that money into just the countertops and it didn't really result right. in getting you any buyers. Right, because most likely the new buyer who comes in, they're going to want to make the updates, and they may not necessarily like the color or the material that you used for the new counters. Because people are picky. They are. So that's why, again, coming back to us or any other agent, you should really talk to people and compare your home and get it from a third party who doesn't have the emotional ties to the house. They can look at it from a clean point of view. Exactly. And I mean, we're that way with our own homes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's your house. You like it. So maybe you're not seeing that there's something that could be updated or something right. that needs a little bit of a facelift. And that's where having that extra person to come help you. This is our job. Our job is to help you and to sell your home. So we will absolutely come in and help you walk through that process with fresh eyes.